Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So today I am going to explain about the use of strain gauges and how it will be helped to measure the strain into different systems and the types of resistance strain gauges. So basically the strain gauge is a device used for measuring the dimension change onto the surface of the structure member and under the test. Suppose this is a one kind of wire and if I applied some kind of tensile load so that will be the change into the dimensions so at initial conditions that will be having a L length and due to the application of the load that will be the change of delta L so that delta L it will be used to be measured by the sum of the applications and in this video I am explaining about resistance strain gauge that will be helped to measuring the strain into the components. So the principle of the operation of the strain is a simple when the strain is applied to the thin metallic wires so its dimension change thus the changing the resistance of the wire. So it has got a wide range of the applications. So it can be used for measurement of the load, forces, then stress or torque displacement and the flow etc so that will be applicable for any branch of the engineering so here the starting with the resistance strain gauge so basically the resistance strain gauge that will be having a two types first that will be the bonded type and unbonded type so in case of the bonded type, the fine wire is bonded to the thin bakelite sheets and according to that different structures or different kind of materials is being used or different kind of orientations that will be having a further classified. So basically the bonded type it will be measured for the small strain is generating into the systems. So basically two types metallic type and semiconductor types. So in case of the metallic type that will be having a wide applications and it will be dividing into further four categories flat grid type, wrap around type, each foil type and woven grip type or into the second system that will be the unbonded type. So in case of the unbonded type the stationary frame and the moving armature is being used. So that will be one kind of LVDT kind of arrangement to measuring the strain or you can say displacements. So it will be having a metallic wire kind of structure. So basically in this video I am talking about resistance strain gauge and more detail with the bonded type of the strain gauges it will be helped to measuring the strains into different systems. So let us see first one for the bonded strain gauge and that will be the flat grid type. So in case of the flat grid type, the wire is wounded back and front as the grid you can see into the figure. So the grid structure is bonded to the back backing material such as a paper or you can say epoxy bonding agent or you can say some of the adhesives with that particularly the protective cells. So what happens? Since the ends of the each section of the wire are looped around, the transverse strain also causes the changes into the resistance in such section of the wire. So that will be the lead wire, it will be connected with the systems and according to that change of that particularly strain. So that will be reflected by the flat grid type of bonded strain gauges. So in second type, wrap around type of bonded strain gauge. So in case of the wrap around type, the structure, so basically this type of gauge is wound onto the flattened tube of the paper. So that will be the flattened tube and it will be using a bakelite sheets or you can say onto the strips as shown into the figure. So in this gauge, the gauge length is smaller than that of the flat grid. So the gauge length that will be smaller as compared to the flat grid. So this gauge achieved the same resistance value for the smaller length compared to the flat grid. So that will be increasing the effectiveness of the measurement. So basically in that case that will be having a higher accuracy in case of the wrap around type of strain gauges.
थर्ड वन ईच फॉइल टाइप सो बेसिकली द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द फॉइल स्ट्रेन गेज एस सोन इन टू द फिगर द मेटल फॉइल टाइप दैट विल बी स्ट्रेन गेज इज मैन्युफेक्चर बाय फोटो इचिंग टेक्निक्स सो दैट विल बी द वन काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेन गेज फॉइल इज बीइंग यूज्ड ओवर हियर एंड हियर द थिंग स्ट्रिप्स ऑफ द फॉइल आर द एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द स्ट्रेन गेज वाइल द थिक वंस आर प्रोवाइडिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल कनेक्शंस सो जस्ट यू कैन सी so that will be the electrical connections because the large area of the thick portion or you can say their resistance is small and they do not contribute to any change into the resistance due to the strain but increase the heat dissipation rate around the area hence the higher thermal stability and better bonding properties so that will be having a good effectiveness as compared to the previous ones so this gauge there is no stress concentration at the terminals due to the absence of the joints thereby the extending the life of the gauges so that will be having a good applications for the measurement of the strains now i would like to explaining about wu one type so this type of gauge eureka wires is wounded so just you can see eureka wires that will be wounded as well of the rayon wraps to form a wu one type of gauge just you can see so that all kind of see that will be the wu one type of gauges or you can say wire gauge is being wounded onto that so this gauge can be measured the large strain for the measurements now for semiconductor strain gauges so that will be having a two type single frame and uh, combination of n and p type so basically these gauges are produced in a wafers from silicon or you can say silicon and germanium crystals in which the exact amount of the special impurities such as boron is being added to impart the certain desirable characteristics so basically that will be having a two types p type and n type semiconductor so for the construction of the semiconductor type just you can see the figures so the semiconductor gauges are usually provided with a plastic or you can say stainless steel backings so that will be the backings stainless steel or you can say plastics bounded onto the test surface by the some methods as wire and foil gauges we already discussed the main advantages of the semiconductor gauges are highly gauge factor and that will be around 100 to 200 and that will be having a good sensitivity so it can be used for dynamic strain and low hysteresis whenever it will be suitable only for the small strain measurement because of the brittle characteristics around the gauges so that will be the construction just you can see here that will be the strain gauge elements and copper lead wire so that will be highly conductive and that will be the two protective steels so that will be the single frame is being used and here that would be the double frame is being used so basically the combination that will be with the n type and p type so here that will be the only n type and n type with the p types so both the end that will be the protective steel gold wire is being used with the leads so that will be all construction about the semiconductor strain gauges to measurement of the strains now last one and that will be the rosette gauge so basically rosette gauge that will be with the construction it will be having a three types two element rosette three element rosette or you can say rectangular three element rosette or you can say delta connections so basically a single element strain gauge can be measured into strain into only the one directions but if you want to measure the strain into two or more directions so that will be using a this kind of gauges so the multiple strain gauges configuration is manufacturing with the stocking multiple strain gauges in the different directions here that will be the three different kind of gauges with the two elements type three elements type and the delta type 
So in that case, the multiple strain gauges are configuration in which more than one strain gauge is bonded to the same supporting materials. So in the definite relative positions, as you can see, so that will be called as a rosette. So basically, there are three types of rosette as a rectangular, delta rosette, or you can say rosette, two elements rosette. So that will be used. So here that will be having a two terminals one and two and that will be making a 90 angles if that will be the rectangular kind of so one two three so one and two that will be having a 90 so according to that that will be the 45 45 and for the delta kind of so one two three each three that will be having a 60 angles with that particularly reference planes so that will be called as a delta gauges or you can say Rosette gauges and multiple directional strain measurement that will be using. So, if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you very much.